hey now friends welcome back to my channel today we're doing another full set my client came in with a couple pictures and we kind of combined a couple nail ideas so let's get into it i started by prepping her nails as usual right now i think i'm using candy by sugar and cream um, from osnapbeauty.com oh this is not sponsored this is just becoming one of my favorite acrylics to use as y'all can see this acrylic lays like butter it's very good to find a liquid to powder ratio for it the pigments and colors that they have available are vast especially if you're looking for nudes for women of color or black women and yeah like i said it's quickly becoming one of my favorite acrylics so after i applied a thin layer of acrylic i use these large dried flowers which i also got from osnotbeauty.com um, a couple pieces of foil and then I just went ahead and encapsulated that now that I laid the acrylic I'm gonna go in and start my shaping process first I'm going to shape the side walls and then I'm going to go in and clean up the cuticle area with my I think it's medium fine bit or extra fine I don't know I'll look and see I'll put it in the description box below <laughs> but yeah I clean the side walls then I'm going with my um my bit you see me here just pouring some alcohol on my client's thumb because it was burning we did a soak off earlier that day and i think it was just too much product contact for her skin so yeah if you take a little alcohol pour it up there rub it off or put a little cuticle oil on it that should take the sensation away
right now so here's the fun part of the video where we actually get into the nail art so uh, when I draw figures um, cartoons or people anything with a uh, human attributes I start with a pencil sketch so generally to start with the fake structure you're going to make a cross depending on how you want your face to be for this one I wanted a more narrow shaped face because of the shape of the nails so I did my horizontal line a little bit higher on the cross um, than I did my vertical line and then I kind of pencil sketched in what her crown was going to be depending on where her shoulders were I mean her chin was I drew um, roughly about where her shoulders would be so that I have just like some framework if you want to have more details you can go and YouTube some pretty simple or on TikTok some pretty simple like face structure drawings or how to draw simple face structures and then work from there but that's just a quick overview of how I do my faces <music> For her foundational complexion, I think I'm using eye gel um, terracotta. It's just a regular gel polish from eye gel. So here on her other hand, you're actually going to see how I sketch out the framework for her face.
right so hopefully this analogy can help you if you wear makeup or have seen people apply makeup or know anything about makeup pretty much the same concept is going to be applied to your art to give your face even though i'm not doing any facial features like eyes nose ear ears whatever i still want to make my face look human like so i'm going to use the concept of contouring to do that so i took my lighter brown and i made that her complexion or whatever color this is i don't remember then i'm going to take in a brown that's a little bit darker than that i know it was an eye gel polish but i'm not sure which one it was and i'm going to go in and do the same thing you would do when you apply makeup i'm going to contour i know which way her head is kind of turned like looking over her shoulder a little bit so i'm going to contour what would be the cheekbone area what is going to be the hairline what is going to be the um the bridge of her nose and also how you highlight the center of the nose you're going to do all of those things to your art piece you can see me going in here doing it on this side she's a little um turn angled towards say like if it was a camera looking at her she's facing kind of how like the mona lisa's body position is so you're going to take all of those colors and concepts and you're going to make contrast and highlights to give a facial expression or a facial um look without having to do a facial expression or features So homegirl right here is going to have the princess Tiana. She's going to have a gold crown, which I'm going to work on first so that I can get the details and the, um, by details, I mean like the three triangles so I can get those down and out of the way because I don't want her hair to bleed over.
to still get how to texture hair when it comes to painting on nails um this particular brush i used i got from is this an amazon brush i can't see the whole thing if it's pink it's from amazon if it's gold then it's from igel so i'm basically going in and like making little squiggly lines i'm trying to have it yeah this is the igel dual brush i'm trying to go in and basically give it some texture so it won't be so straight since she's supposed to have like a natural afro poof situation going on which is why i allowed the brush to stay with the hairs that were split and then i'm gonna kind of go in i think later with my dotting tool and even go in with different colors to try to give the hair some dimension since just like with the face i'm not doing super fine details but i still want it to be realistic and have some kind of dimension
Okay, yeah, so I did come back in with my dotting tool. So her hair was not looking like afro-y, natural, curly enough for me. It was looking a little too smooth, flat, and um, unrefined. So I came in with my dotting tool to give it some more texture to make it look a little bit more kinky, curly. Okay, now I'm coming in with black over top of the brown to give it a little more contrast and to cover up some of the places that I overly highlighted. So I'm going to come in with a very light hand with my detail brush just to um, shape out the jawline, the facial outline, and the outline of the shoulders on my image.
So now I'm just going over my pictures with top coat to protect them while I move on to the other nails. If you guys have any more questions that I didn't answer, please drop them in the comments below. I definitely stay in my comments replying to all questions, comments, and suggestions.
so the stones I have are Swarovski crystals from Blue Street Crystals. They no longer sell Swarovski to nail techs, as I'm pretty sure you guys are aware. So I may be switching over to Preciosa. I'm not 100% sure. But if y'all got any suggestions on where I can find Swarovski or a better alternative, also let me know that down in the comments because I'm still trying to figure that out. So this little UV light flashlight that you see me using, I got from Red Iguana. I had a problem with my clients. I'm pretty sure you all have the same issue. Wanting to look at their nails before they put them into the lamp, which sometimes shifts the placement of the stone that I just worked so hard to put in place. So I apply my stones, I flash cure, and I can either move on to another finger to apply stones or then get them to move their hand into the lamp. And that movement won't shift the placement of the stones that I already put down. Music
so if you guys made it this far in the video first of all thank you thank you thank you please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope this video um did you well served you well hope you learned something or just hope you were entertained by watching me do nails again thank you guys for watching the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe share with your nail tech friends follow me on instagram at bk nailed it and yeah i'll catch you on the next one bye